All right, boys, so we're leaving the beach. <laughs> How was your uh, first ever surfing experience? Uh... <laughs> well, yeah, yours wasn't so good. You got slammed. <laughs> yeah, we got wrecked. But Floyd was a natural. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was sick. I actually thought I was gonna suck the hardest. And then I kind of just stood up and it worked. Yeah. <laughs> now we are on our way to eat something called Kamja Ongshimi. Any idea what that is? What pizza? A Kamja Ongshimi. Oh, it sounds like Shake Shack. It does sound like Shake Shack. It's something which is famous to the region that we're in, Kangondo. Yeah, you have buckwheat and you also have this dish, uh, which is potatoes in a soup. But it's not potatoes in the soup, it's like potato dumplings in the soup. Interesting. And they're in balls, they look like um, bird eggs. I thought you were going to love it. Bird eggs. And that's what they're named after. It's actually the name of it is from the Kangwondo dialect, the, ac the ac accent that they speak here, which means bird eggs. You'll see what I mean when you see it. Basically, I've never had it before either, so I'm very excited to eat it. I've always wanted to eat it, but I never had the chance. Nice, because it sounds yes. very carby. Oh, is there meat in there? There is not meat in there, but what we are eating with it is meat. Yes. What we are eating with it is ojingo sunde. I know the word sunde. So I think one of you has had it, but I can't remember who. Basically, ojingo is squid, and okay. sunde. You know when you have tteokbokki on the street stores? Yeah. You'll get the the pig's blood black noodle thing. Ah, yeah. So that's wrapped in pig's intestines. Okay. Instead of that, it's the same thing, but it's wrapped in squid. Whoa. Yeah, and it's not got pig's blood in it. <laughs> it sounds pretty uh, inventive. It's very inventive. It's something which is also famous for this region, the east coast on the beaches. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it should be good. I'm hoping that's really nice. It's our first traditional market of the trip, boys. <laughs> I haven't been to a market since your last series, because it's our last series. Not the mukbang one. Well, I'm not taking you to a market. I don't think so. I've never, this is just new to me. Okay. I saw one of these in Hong Kong. I miss markets. Well, this market, you can buy everything here, but they also have cool little restaurants inside, mm. which do real authentic Korean food. Mushrooms? Check out these fruits. We got some people. They look like mushrooms. And here we are, boys. Is it? This is it. Oh, I can see the pancakes there. Mm. I can tell this place will be good because it's like, it looks authentic. Yeah. That's the uh, stuffed oh, squid. I ate that. Yeah, I had that. Yeah, you d okay, yeah. it was you. I've always never had that. Potatoes are grated, drained, squeezed, and mixed with potato starch. I left the settle at the bottom of the water in a bowl, and then they made into potato, uh, balls from the potato dough. And then they boiled in an anchovy broth. Wow. Yeah, that sounds good. It's bizarre. I should give this here. Oh, it's Does that have the potato in it? Yes. This is the uh, potato soup. You get the seaweed on top, some sesame seed, and then obviously you get the bowls. And then it goes super on out. Very fit. I think this one is made in the Sujebi way, which is another technique. Yeah, it's not made in bowls. Sujebi is like a. Uh, it's almost like pasta. The flour mix that they put into soups in Korea and yeah. they eat it like that. It's all handmade, so it comes out in varying shapes. Mm. That looks like the Sujebi. Version. Yeah. Nine balls. See the balls here, that's what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, okay. I've never, never had it before either, so I didn't know what exactly to expect. All alone on the internet, but you don't seem to forget about yourself. Wondering how it could go so wrong, but you didn't call for help. And these ones look deep fried, like the ones uh, we had yesterday, which is sick. These are good. Once you put something in oil, it just tastes 10 times better. Especially after a long day. So, yeah. so for now, you boys, let's try the. Um, let's try some of this soup. Oh, it's got some uh, kaiwazu in there. It's got some noodles in there. So get one of the potato things. So I'm going to try. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. 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 I know it's gonna burn my mouth, so I'm taking my time. <laughs> I haven't got that chef mouth. Texture is just like dumpling texture. Damn. I don't think it's like a dumpling at all. It comes on like crazy. Mm. 
It's like a mix of several things. I have had sujo before, and I think the uh, way they make is quite similar. And then you get the pieces of potato in there. You get that potato you take, taste coming through with that texture, with the thick broth. That this is, is just potato? Yeah, potato with potato starch. Because mm. it has like two different textures. I'm going to eat this all day. That is absolutely lovely. Fantastic creation, that. When it's cooled down a bit as well, you can just shovel it in. Mm. I think that's when it'll be best. Because you do just want to get a big old mouthful of that. Oh, I've been doing that the whole time. That texture is crazy. With a little piece of potato in it. That is awesome. Great thickness. Subtle, clean flavours. Uh, it reminds, reminds me of oatmeal. Just like the thickness of everything. Mm. I can't really taste much potato. Well, you don't get the potato. I get the potato. I'm with Floyd. It tastes more like a rice cake. There's little tiny pieces in there as well. Do I try to taste Without the broth, it tastes more like a potato. You know what it's time for. It is time. So these ones are the kimchi ones, and then this one is the meat and vegetable one. They're hot. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, got some spice in that kimchi too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a good bit of spice. Man, I love these. So good. My deep frying them does take them to the next level. I could literally eat these all day. These are like, I'm gonna try green. Yeah, I think these are trip favorite. These ones are more healthy because they're green. I prefer the kimchi ones in this place. No, you, you prefer this one this time? Yeah. I prefer this one every time, but this time this one's really good. <laughs> That's the best green one I've had so far. Yeah, First place where we had this. I like the green one the best. Yeah. yeah. I do like the soft one though. I feel like. Yes. I feel like if the soft one had that kimchi filling in it, that'd be the winner. Yeah, you don't like the crisp? I like the crisp. I think oh, I really? prefer my soft blanket. You're insane. <laughs> No, I'm not even living on different planet. I'm putting that in the video. <laughs> We've got a presentation on this, boys. And yeah. Uh, I need a picture of that, actually. It's not quiet in this restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> no one's talking. It's simple. Usually I have to project my voice a bit when I film. Yeah. Because everyone's loud. But in this place, I feel like I've been wired. Are you turning it down a bit? Because nobody's drinking soju. Yeah, there is no soju on any table. When Koreans aren't drunk, they're pretty quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, boys, give this one a try. I don't know what it's stuffed with. It looks like some rice. Rice noodles. And then deep fried. That's a bag of lager. Very hot. Oh, I haven't not tried this before. Wow. So good, man. I've been, I've been waiting to give that to you for ages, so I knew you'd love it. That is crazy. All things, I mean, apart from that, that I haven't tried before. Mm. And they're fantastic. As I said before, you've got to try the local foods in each area, the local delicacies. So what part is this? That's um, squid. Squid. That's the squid. That's okay. in the body. And then the other stuff is just like, kind of filling. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you the shape of pasta. Around the leaf, what do you think? Like, never. Because you've never had crab. You don't know what squid looks like. We eat salmon, and I eat canned tuna every day. If it's not those two things, I don't know what it looks like. Food is a huge part of life, John. I'm glad I, I'm glad I get a chance to broaden the horizons. <laughs> yeah, every four years, I'll just come here yeah. and eat different food. <laughs> Are you missing your tuna? Uh, not really. Oh, yeah, we could get you some Korean canned tuna. It's big in Korea. Yeah. They have some really nice ones. Yeah, they right. have some crazy flavors there. Yeah. That's a good play. It's like a thing. They have like loads of different flavors and a full meal. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, 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 I'm down. I'm gonna have this now, but it's calmed down a bit. Big old mouthful. Mm, it's right. You know what they've done? It's the nudungji. It's, it's the rice fried on the bottom of the pan. This is where the crunch is. Yeah, I just had the crunch. You can see this is rice, and it's like it's got that hard shell. Mm, I know there's rice in there. It's like a flavored nudungji. Yeah, it's not as hard as normal nudungji, mm. but the same concept. And then they got some glass noodles in there. That's see, what I You've got to one bite these, otherwise it's full yeah, far. Yeah, you have to have the one bite. They're made to be one bit. Mm. I think it's a, 
I love exploring all of this stuff, but I can never do this on my own. I can't read anything. <laughs> so I always got to wait for a meal to do this stuff. That's why I do these series. Because foreigners who come to Korea can't read it and can't find these places. Mm. Oh man, I love it. I love the soup. I'm not gonna lie, I would love to like stick a couple piece of meat in there. I think that would just take it to a whole different level. I'm gonna do it real nice with some white fish or some duck. Oh, that would be good. I was thinking about beef. I was thinking beef. It's gonna overpower it. Mm, it would actually. So what do they do? Just like cut it into rings and then take it to rings, fill it, and fry it? Yeah. Mm. I could eat this all day. I could eat this all day. I could eat that all day. You get fat. I already did that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm breathing in.